rivalry. Again, just 18 miles separate these two schools. Over in the corner. And a three-pointer by Anthony Stipp puts the Cougars on the board first. I love it. Near steal. Saved. Lawrence has got it again. Left side. Hall open for three. Got another one. Six-nothing Cougars. The mark. Here comes Lawrence. Charleston on the run. Bounce pass. Stitt finishes. 10-2 College of Charleston. Great control. Bounce to Anthony Stitt for the great layup and good transit. Harper throws it up and in. Good ball movement by the Cougars. They get it to the free throw line. Willis Hall with his second basket of the night. 12-4 Charleston. Gotta love it when they like just hit the next potato. guy. Yep. Hot potato time. Nate. Perfect, perfect. Long three, and that one is good by Paul Gobbler. The guy that shoots the ball worse than anybody is the guy that normally does the most on them. Steal by Harper, and the layup, and the Buccaneers right back in it, down by three. On the run, Harper, too short. Put back, no good, but the dunk right there by Ali Fuller for Charleston Southern. It's a one-point lead. Between these two that you were a part of going back to the 90s that you and I were talking about earlier today. There's a dunk by Ajay Baru, and Charleston now leads by three. Worth realize it's man-to-man, -man, so they change what they want to do, and that's what they want to do with it. Baru elevates and scores again, 16-11 to 11 as the Cougars extend their lead. Baru now with the rebound. Lawrence quickly ahead. Sunberg open. And another three-pointer for the College of Charleston. It's an eight-point lead. That's what he does, and he does it exceptionally well at crucial times of games. Sunberg underneath the hall. A little pump fake. Oh. And reverse. No good. Put back is good. Down with him all night long. Peru skips it out to Stitt. Shot clock down to four. Stitt drives. Floaters good. Now the Buccaneers quickly back to the way. Arlon Harper throws it up and counter. Now you got to tighten it up on this end. Three-point lead for the Cougars. Nimbly into the lane. Good touch off the glass. He puts you in a conundrum. That's my word of the day. Over to Johnson. Norrie caught in the air. Turnover. Charleston Southern with a chance to take the lead. Nimbly to Harper. Thought about a long three. Floater. Got it. And the Buccaneers take their first lead of the night. Back in. Lawrence long three. Wow, what a shot by Andrew Lawrence. Ties the game at 37. Here in North Charleston, South Carolina. Anthony Thomas, nice move, slices into the lane, lays it in to tie it up. Anthony Thomas to Baru on the baseline. Two seconds, Baru, hook shot with the right hand at the buzzer, ties it up. Southern underneath, goes deep to Andrew Lawrence. Long three-pointer, are you kidding me? Andrew Lawrence from about 30 feet away. Lawrence comes out of the game for the time being. Keep your eye on that. Anthony Stitt hits a three-pointer, and all of a sudden, from beyond the arc, the Cougars have come alive again. Slipped off the court with that injury about three minutes ago. They'll certainly need him back in the lineup. Oh my goodness, Andrew Lawrence, another deep ball that he strikes from beyond the arc. Under eight minutes left to play in the game. Here from Buccaneer Fieldhouse, Willis Hall with a 10-foot jumper knocks it in. Block already down to eight. The stick goes to Anthony Thomas with six. He lost it. Two on one back the other way. Mo to Nimbley. Finishes. Count the basket and a foul. Here come the Buccaneers again. Upon three minutes left to play. 66-59. College of Charleston with the lead. And Nimbley makes it a five-point lead now for the Cougars. 15 to play. Great shot. Just didn't make it. Harper drives and scores! Count the basket and a foul! Down four, 50 seconds left to play. I thought he got bumped when he went off that double screen. Harper, underneath to Fuller. Back to Harper, who steps back beyond the arc. Hits the three-pointer! I'm thinking to myself, they don't need a three, they just need a basket. In front of everybody but A.J. Brew, they wanted him to catch it. Leo Johnson gives it back to Andrew Lawrence, who's hacked across the arm. Of course they want him to make it, but if he doesn't, play defense. Don't be stunned by the fact that he didn't make it. Well, he takes their players off the foul line. Don't want a violation when Lawrence is making foul shots. 19 seconds left. Three-point lead for the college. Three-pointer. Out of the way by Harper. Missed. 
Rejected underneath by Baru, and Lawrence comes up with the loose ball. Nine seconds left. Rayna Ball wants a foul, and they'll foul Andrew Lawrence. That's have been just perfect. Swish, swish, swish. And making another one for Andrew Lawrence. Six of six from the free throw line. Picks it up, races it to the other end. Four seconds. Harper with two. Will not go. Ball's tipped down, and that will do it. The College of Charleston hangs on. They make the road trip here to Charleston Southern for the first time in 16 years, and they hang on for a five-point win, 72-67. Coach, I see.